So uh, LGL leukemia is a very rare disease, but the, there really are three clinical features, neutropenia, anemia, and rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, generally, hematologists in the community see those patients with neutropenia or anemia, and uh, indications for therapy are either severe or symptomatic neutropenia or anemia or rheumatoid arthritis. So uh, indications for treatment in terms of neutropenia are generally based on how low the neutrophil count. So um, patients with neutrophil counts sustained below the level of 500 per microliter are really those at risk of serious infection, even resulting in death. So we do treat all those patients. Uh, similarly, patients with anemia who are transfusion dependent need initiation of therapy. Uh, it's a little bit diff more difficult if patients are not requiring transfusions but are anemic and really we go on whether or not it's symptomatic and affects quality of life. Uh, the actual treatments we use are really not chemotherapy but are based on immunosuppressive therapies and uh, generally we use one of three agents either, and these are all oral in nature, so oral methotrexate at low doses similar to that used for rheumatoid arthritis, 10 milligrams per meter squared once weekly, uh, oral cyclophosphamide at 100 milligrams daily, or lastly, cyclosporin at a dose of around one to two milligrams per kilogram uh, Q12 hours. Those are kind of the standard therapeutic approach. Uh, I would like to mention, however, that there are really no large prospective clinical trials of this rare disease. We've just finished a, a cooperative group BCOG study, which validates the use of immunosuppressive therapies in this condition.